Hey everybody, welcome on my new channel. So today the plan is to get some chocolate clams, my favorite seafood here in Mexico. And stay here, stay tuned for catch and cook. Well, catch and eat, nothing to cook here. Now we need to warm the bike. I hope it will work. I need to. So we made it, we are in Tecolote, I like this beach, <laughs> I like this playa, you can see a lot of space and here in front what you have is the island Espiritu Santo. So now we are going for some clams, chocolate clams, it's pretty easy to get once you learn, once you know how to get them it's pretty easy. You will see there is two holes, one to inhale the water, another one to exhale. And then you swim, you spot them, and then you dive. The thing is, once they see your shadow, once you see the light going, what they will do is they will close the hole, so you have to keep watching them or you will lose them. So let's go, water is pretty warm. Don't need more sweet suit, let's go. And just here you will see a rooster fish pez gallo passing by. Then I quickly spotted my first clam, my first chocolate clam. You can clearly see the, the two holes as I told you, the one used to inhale, the other one to exhale and boom. You get close to them, they close and if you lose sight of them you will you will lose them. This one has a good size. They can get way bigger the size of my hand, but I don't I don't like how they taste when they are too big. So yeah, I will look for more now. And another one. I spotted another one. You can easily see the two holes. And then you just have to dive here. It's pretty shallow. It was like two meters, six feet. Boom, you get them. And yeah, perfect size. I love this size. For me, the, the one that tastes the best. And here another one. You see the problem with finding clams is that it's pretty tricky sometimes because there is a lot of debris on the seafloor that look like the two holes. So you have you need sharp eyes. After getting two more clams, I decided to call it a day and leave. You can see the jet ski getting too close of me and this day I didn't expect that and didn't bring my my boy. So yeah, I decided to go back to shore. Guys, we just had four clams. Let's go. I'm gonna show you how to clean them, and then I will eat them. So yeah, basically it's pretty easy. You see these parts here, this side. You're gonna cut here. Watch out to not cut your finger. Damn, this one is pretty tough. I'm gonna try with this one. Yeah, you see, you got it. You open it like this and here you have the muscle you see this this is the stomach right? this is where there is all the food and everything and you don't want to eat this it's if you're not used to it's gonna make you sick this is the foot you see the orange thing is the foot 
they use it to dig in the hole and these are the two tubes that you see in the water the one to, that inhale the water then they filter in the stomach and then after they exhale the water pretty easy when they are small to take off the stomach you clean it like this ah, you can open first you take off boom okay boom It. Take off. Ah, here you can see the, the gills. Yeah, you can eat them, but they are not really tasty. More of the stomach. Yeah, it's a mess, a little bit, but yeah, it's pretty. It's really good. The best thing. You cut a lemon. you will see if they are fresh the muscle will move yeah it's moving so you have to know it's dead huh? I'm not torturing it it's dead it's just the muscle the reaction because of the lime that make it move again and then oh I forgot put some salt You eat it all. Mm. It can be fresher. Mm. Really tasty. And the good thing with this is that you can just throw the dish. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep cleaning. This one's open. I'm not the best at cleaning them. Um, I'm not the best at cleaning them, but um, ah, it's not stopping me from eating them. Lime, you will see again, it's moving because it's fresh, not because it's alive. Oh, I almost lost it. Salud. Mm. Mm. Damn. It's so good. Mm. And then you can throw them. Mm. You love it. And now we will try to open the biggest one. <laughs> Let's see if I can open it without opening myself. Oh yeah. I'm gonna hammer it. Yeah, perfect. Try to cut the muscle. Wow, <laughs> we have a big one here. And the biggest one is the one that we found the closest to the beach. That's funny, you know? Oof. Trying to not waste any piece. Um, not to waste any piece and yeah when they are this size it's not the biggest one huh? but when they are this size 
I recommend to clean it well, to not leave any piece of stomach. Not gonna make you really sick, but if you are sensitive, uh, can make you go to the bathroom. And running, not walking. Lime. Salt. Not too much, it's already salty. Oh. Salut. Mm. Mm. After enjoying my clams, I decided to clean my, my table and my knife so, so I could enjoy in peace the, the sunset. You will see the sunset in the Sea of Cortez are one of the best I ever seen in my life. Well, thank you everybody. I will see you for the next video. I'm gonna go for some Dorados, my my. It's the season right now. And there is big, big, big Dorado, so stay connected. See you soon.